Welcome back, everyone. Today, I just wanted to show you some highlights from a debate yesterday between a guy named Destiny and a guy I know you're all familiar with, Robert Noir. You definitely want to check this one out because at one point, Robert actually gets Destiny to admit that these riots are really about hurting Trump. Robert definitely came out on top, but like I said, this is just the highlights. If you want to see the entire two-hour debate, I'll put the link to Destiny's channel in the description and in the pinned comment. Before we start, though, I do have to take a quick capitalism break for this channel sponsor and a special deal for my subscribers. The VPN I choose is Virtual Shield because it's the easiest, fastest, and has a plug and play 30 day free trial. Virtual Shield wants to offer a 50% off all VPN plans and all premium add-ons, including Protection Plus, residential access, and VIP performance plans for as low as a cup of coffee. Sign up for a free 30-day trial of Virtual Shield VPN and see what all the hype's about. You have nothing to lose. Please visit www.virtualshield.com forward slash drone tech. That's virtualshield.com forward slash drone tech. Or just click the link in the description. One black person getting killed by the cops. Who the fuck cares? If it's just one black person dies by the cops. Shit happens like that all the time with all sorts of people. The problem is one black person getting killed by the white cops becomes the icing on the cake to the, all, the cornucopia of problems that black people have in the United States. So in a way... The protests and the riots are about protesting against this particular black death. That's what they're about. But they're not there because of just that one person getting killed. Does that make again, sense? Or I, I understand what you're saying. I do. But again, it all cruxes on the point of the oppression. But we can't just look at if I thought we were in agreement. You can't just look at the data. You have to look at the underlying reasons. So, for for example, if these riots are legitimate over that, what if there were and there were riots over Michael Brown? That was a lie. Hands up, don't shoot. Sure, there lie. are some people that people choose that are stupid. But like Trayvon Martin, I think, is, is a better role model. Like, how? That Zimmerman fucking haunted this officer. dude down in a fucking neighborhood and shot and killed him. What the fuck? That was crazy as fuck. He wasn't a police officer. Who cares? It was still fucked. So wait, so wait. Your argument is if cross-racial... That, that's the oppression. It's cross-racial deaths? That's what we're going to no, talk about? No, it's not just cross-racial death. It's it's the, like, that plays into the larger narrative that, like, if you see a black guy wandering around That's a neighborhood, right. like, maybe we should go hunt him down. What, what, what about the, um, fuck, I don't even remember the guy's name. They just got driven down in a truck by the two or three white guys that shot him in the street because they thought that he was stealing something because he walked into a house under construction and then walked away. Armand? Black people. Oh, black uh, Ahmad people Arbery or whatever? Like, oh, Arbery, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Statistically, blacks are 23 times more likely to kill whites than vice versa. And even crazier than that, the numbers don't even matter because then white supremacists use this argument like, oh, blacks are hunting down whites. That's garbage. That's not what it is. Statistically, you're almost 80 to 90 percent most likely to be killed by someone within your own race. So the idea of cross-racial violence, we should just dispense with it that somehow that's indicative of something anyways. But if you focus on it, like in the George Zimmerman case, well, the data clearly shows that white people are being are killed at a higher clip from pe uh, black people than vice versa and by the way zimmerman wasn't he, i believe he identified as hispanic but the again because the people in power want to use blacks as pawns they said oh no no no, this is a narrative of a white killing a black person i don't think it was the matter of who killed the black person it was just the idea that a black kid running around through a neighborhood could be extrajudiciously hunted down and murdered by a guy who felt like he was protecting his community whether the guy was hispanic or asian or white or whatever so if the data is the if the data shows the opposite, then do you think white people have a legitimate grievance that they're killed more by blacks? I don't know. It would depend on how those killings are, are, are part of. Like, is this like a part of like gang violence or whatever? Like, I don't think anybody here is going to defend. Or I mean, some liberals get baited into it. It's stupid. Gang violence is shit, and it happens. But I don't have as many tears for like fucking gang people shooting each other back and forth. Like people say, three hundred mass shootings a year happen, and like a hundred or two hundred of those are like gang violence, or whatever. That's shit. It shouldn't happen. It sucks. But like, I don't. That that's not my problem. And I I would feel it's probably not the problem of most African Americans. The that's not what Destiny said. You said it's right. We're agreeing. It's not about police murdering a person because they're racist. You said that's not the case. Okay, I and guess we'll find out what, like, I, I mean, I, I get, I, like, I don't disagree with you that, like, the singular problem isn't cops killing black people. It's not, like, the singular problem. But, like, this is what sucks about racism and sexism today in America, right? We solved most of the easy racism, sexism in America has been solved. We typically don't have communities of people hanging black people off trees. Women are allowed to vote. People don't stand outside places of businesses saying Mexicans or Irish need not apply. Like, 
Most of the easy racism and sexism stuff in the, in the U.S. and most of the Western world has more or less been solved. Now a lot of it is a lot harder to see. More well, no, I mean, that's really important. If stuff like this and Trump's response ends up making him less likely to get elected, I assume most of the people protesting or rioting even would assume that that's like a victory on their part. I mean, that's outrageous, though. If you're rioting for that kind of political reason, that's even worse. I mean, when top down, when the only responses Trump has given is that when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Or like quoting literally like that racist. Is, that, that's what happens. He's though, literally quoting like a racist cop from 68, I think. Like, like that's not a good look. Like, that's not a good way to manage your citizens protesting. Like, when you're literally tear gassing people out so you can do a shitty photo op in some cemetery or church or whatever, that St. John's place or whatever. Like, these are really bad looks for how Trump is handling things. And I'm sure a lot of people will be happy with literally anybody else at the helm but him i mean i think that i think that what you're saying gets to a truth of what a lot of people are thinking on the left which they they actually like these riots and i think that this could be a reason this is the conspiratorial nature of me but this could be why people like the blasi are like yeah go ahead keep rioting we're just going to give up parts of the city and be unwilling to accept the national guard well, i don't think because there's conspiratorial at all i think that affecting political change like this is fine like that's part of the goal like like Activism and riots are one side of the coin and the other side is voting, like being, bringing awareness to issues like this, you know, and an attempt I mean, to get people to vote differently is part of the goal, right? If we're looking at it in a political calculus and you're a Democrat and I'm a Republican, I would be happy to have that sound bite.